So we've all been there, right? You're new to Halo ITSM, puzzling about, looking for the default fields, and you're just not finding what you're looking for. But no worries, creating your own custom content is super easy here. Hi there, I'm Jonathan Burdick, Senior Solutions Consultant and Architect with Excalibur Data Systems. And today, we're gonna go over how to create custom fields in the Halo ITSM system. There's two basic pathways to get this done, and both of them lead you to the same exact custom field screen. All right, so it really just depends on what kind of workload you're in at that time, uh, or maybe even just how you're feeling uh, today in terms of which way you'd like to go. All right, so the first one, uh, if we're uh, navigating right here from the, the core landing page, uh, is to hit configuration. Uh, then click under advanced, you wanna find custom objects. Then under custom objects, we will find custom fields. You'll see here that there are any number of custom fields that already exist. Probably the biggest uh, differentiator in these, at least from a, from a naming convention, is that each one, as it's created, will be prefaced with the letters CF. And we don't even have to do that on our own. Uh, the system will do that for us once it's all said and done. So we just find the new button in the upper right-hand corner click new. Let's say, for example, we want to create a field uh, that holds the days of the week uh, so that we can have an individual select the particular day that a record was opened. Now, maybe in real life we wouldn't do that, but that's a good example for us, and it'll be uh, pretty illustrative about how easy this is to get done. So we'll first name the field in the database. Okay, well maybe we'll call that open day of week. And we wanna provide that field label on the form, as an example, uh, with uh, something that's just a little bit easier uh, to read. So we'll put in uh, maybe day of week opened. And the type of field is important. So uh, this is text, but we do want somebody to be able to select uh, a single value from, from the content in the field. So we'll make this a single selection field. For now, we'll keep this as a static list and we'll enter the values manually right here in the system. So I'm just gonna paste the days of the week in there. And uh, one thing that we will wanna do, at least in our case, is uncheck this order values alphabetically. So that will keep the uh, days of the week in the actual order that they're in, in real life, okay? And uh, there are other options here. We could have a default field, we could have a field summary or a hint for that, and we could certainly allow uh, users to search this uh, in general. Maybe we'll just include this field in the search. Um, there's also visibility restrictions here, but we're not really going into that right now. So once we have this core content here, we can simply click save at the bottom. It will sort of settle that configuration in. Notice that it prefaced uh, the, the name that we gave the field with the letters CF. And if we were just to hit the back button here, now indeed uh, we had 56 custom fields before, now we have 57. Uh, and uh, if we were to just look at the very end of the list, there is our field uh, right there. So how do we then find this field? Uh, if should we want to use that? Well, we're going to go back uh, to the home page. We'll click configuration. This time, though, we will go into the tickets area and we'll select ticket types because we do want to eventually get this onto a field on one of the objects. Let's say we just want to add it to the incident uh, ticket type. So we will click edit, field list. Here are the fields that are currently 
uh, on the incident ticket type. We'll click the plus sign and we will look up a field here. So we should be able to find our field here pretty quickly. In fact, I can start filtering this by the first two letters, maybe CF. I want to go just to the custom fields. Um, and we had we had named that opened day of week. So even if I just hit O there, now we can um, get that filter. We can select that, click save, save again, save again, and now that field uh, will be included on the incident uh, ticket type. And just to show that off, if we were to go back to incidents, click new incident, sure enough, at the very bottom, now we have that custom field that shows us all the days of the week. Now, the other pathway gets us to the same exact place, uh, and it would be maybe predominantly used if you were more in, in, um, more in an editing mode on a particular ticket type, and so you just want to be able to stay in that space rather than having to come all the way back out and navigate through the other configuration path. So in this case, we're still going to go into configuration, but we're going to go back instead of going into the custom objects down here in the advanced uh, section, we're going to stay up in the core features. We'll cl click the tickets uh, button and then we will select ticket types. We'll go right back to incident here. We'll click edit. We go to our field list. So we're right back where we were just a minute ago uh, and we're going to click the plus there. Now here, then the only real difference is instead of selecting a field right from where, uh, from the list that we just selected our new field from, uh, if we needed to add a new field, uh, an additional field, we can just click add and voila, the new custom field form appears. And so from here, uh, the configuration and the input is identical. Uh, and you can, so once you were done here, you can expect your field to pop up in the custom field uh, list and you could be, you could modify it from there uh, or you could eventually delete it uh, if you wish, but that uh, either way, either pathway will work to establishing that custom field. All right, so in closing, remember, Again, two paths to get there, same configuration page from either direction. You create them in line while modifying an object like we did here, or you via the core administrative configuration path, and then just add them to your object. All right, so that's a wrap on custom fields. Uh, I hope this has proved uh, valuable to your growth in learning the Halo ITSM system. And with that, have a great day.